So let's take a very simple example. Uh, let's take a very simple example. Okay, let's take a simple problem designing a machine which moves an object like that, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Very simple. Very simple machine. Okay. And again, all these design problems are geometric problems. In other, in other words, it, they all involve geometry. Okay, all involve geometry. And these are all open ended problems. In other words, if I give you this problem to the entire class, everybody is going to come up with a different solution. So there has to be some criteria of comparing one design to another design. And again, I'm not going to go into that because that criteria of optimizing a machine depends upon what are we optimizing for. I, I mean, am I opti op optimizing it for the looks, for the cost, for the strength, for the durability, for the energy it takes to run that machine. So the many, there can be many parameters that you have to consider uh, uh, against which you're optimizing the machine. There is no such thing as a perfect design because if you optimize on one parameter, you'll have to pay the penalty uh, in some other things. Okay, so we, again, we're not going to go into those uh, those oh, those issues. So let's say I'm designing a machine which does this back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Very simple. And again, these are some of the design steps. Uh, probably we shouldn't go into that. Uh, I locate a pin here. Let me just look at the. Uh, this is my final machine, and okay. So I came up with the solution using series of the design steps. I connect my motor here. So the motor rotates this and I'm moving back and forth, back and forth. Pretty simple concept and I can, I can design this machine. Okay. Now let's make it a little bit more complicated. Let's say, let's say uh, uh, this machine that I'm designing here, I've been asked to design is doing some work because every time you design a machine has to do some work. Right? And let's say the work part is this is B2, B1 there and this is, this is going and rotating. Let's say I have, uh, let's say I put a, a little, uh, uh, little platform here and I have here uh, some kind of a channel, some boxes are being dropped here and all this is doing is pushing this box from this location to this location. Back and forth, constantly. Right? This machine is running and these boxes are dropping and this device is just pushing these boxes back and forth, back and forth. Uh, so clearly, in, during this path, I want to move the boxes slowly. Right? Because let's say they have some fragile things in there, so you want to move them slowly. On way back, I'm not doing any work. Right? So I want to come back quicker. I want to come, come back quicker to save time to make my machine more efficient. All right, so uh, we can modify this design such that it comes back quicker, but when it goes this way, it goes slower. Okay, those little games you can play. And again, it consists of series of design steps. Let's not go into that. Uh, and then again, I guess the customer may specify that how fast you want to come back or, uh, you know, like uh, during the uh, return process. So it, he may specify some parameters. So you are working under some constraint. So let's uh, say those things are given. And this is my same problem. I'm going slower here. Let's say I'm moving the box this way. Now I'm going faster. If I don't know if you can see that, it returns, it goes from B2 to B1 faster than it goes from B1 to B2. Okay, and you can make it go even faster, things like that. Sorry about that. Okay, so we can play these games. So this is a simple uh, design problem where all we are doing is moving back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. 